don't know how much I'm actually gonna cut off. Just a nice buzz would be nice. That was not supposed to happen. Happy Monday, everybody. Today I'm cutting my own hair. Why? Uh, because I did it once before with mild success and I don't like scheduling hair appointments. So A plus B equals a maybe disastrous haircut. I googled how to cut your own hair and this was the first video that popped up. Naturally, that's the one I'm gonna follow along to. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to part my hair where it naturally lays. And then I'm Wait, going to split it what? in half. And then I'm going to split it in half down the back. Am I doing it? And then tie one section off to the side. Basically, repeat the same thing on the other side. Are you supposed to like cinch it up like that? Because oh no, oh no. I guess the answer is no. Should I redo the other one? Oh gosh. I feel like they should be the same. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. This rubber band will act as a guide as to how short you will cut your hair. So after tying it on, bring it down as far as you like to achieve the length you want. Again, repeat the same thing on the other side. Now make sure that both sides are completely even. Now the question is, how disastrous do I actually want this? I mean, I feel like you could still do something with this if it just went horribly wrong, right? Should that be wavy like that? Probably not. Sure. Now, now you're ready you to start the cut. To do this, cut right above, above the hair tie. Ooh. All right. No going back. Chairs there. I'm just pulling the scissors the wrong way. Start by sectioning your hair off and work with the bottom okay. layers. It feels like a nice section. Okay. Pinch your hair with your fingers, fingers, slide it down till you reach the end, and then cut off those jagged ends straight. Down. Okay, sure. Why not? Ooh. I'll do one last. Hey, don't stab yourself in the neck, please. And then we let down the next layer. To kind of soften the ends just a bit, I'm going to go in. Oh no, an ad. Do a point cut to the ends. This will get rid of the harsh looking ends that you see. Now basically, repeat the same steps to each layer until you reach the top. And now the part I cannot see. I'll break it to me gently. Go ahead and soften up the ends again with that point cut technique. It's not just good, it's good enough. I thought about cutting my bangs and then I thought, you know what? Let's quit while we're ahead. We're ahead in the sense that my hair is five inches shorter than it was when we started all of this. I feel I feel pretty good about this. The next day. So it's very warm outside today. And apparently lots of traffic. But Everyone in my house is asleep right now, so I figured outside would be the best way to give you an actual assessment of what's going on here. This is it! It's done! So, I honestly I haven't seen it from the back like that before, so I don't even know what that looks like. But, hopefully it doesn't look terrible. I think it turned out pretty well. Saved, uh, time, some money. I think I will buy a frosted coffee from Chick-fil-A to celebrate. Why not? Would it be possible for you to do the same thing and give yourself a haircut at home? I think totally. It took me a little while. Uh, it probably took like an hour to actually cut my hair because I was, you know, didn't know what I was doing most of the time. I had to do some touch-ups after I took a shower and straightened it again. There were some glaring mistakes. So uh, fix that. You know, it is what it is. This is probably the only time you'll see me wearing my hair down for the next year. So soak it all in, enjoy it, because hat day is tomorrow and uh, the day after that and every day until the next time I cut my hair. With that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you all later. Bye.